<laughs> the reason you have a band all the way down at the ankles is so you should be able to feel that you have to use your, like, work with your feet a lot more to complete the squat. Half of the time with air squats and squats in general, we lose power because our feet are doing nothing. Like, we're not actually doing and putting force through our feet. Um, so that's going to help turn on that system, okay? The blue one obviously is going to be pulling his knees together. How many times have you been told to keep your knees out? A million. So first is just going to do it slow and controlled the normal way that you would do an air squat, front squat, back squat, whatever. So he's going to do it slow with no plyometric work. He's going to go as far as he can go, keeping a nice straight chest, arms in front, hold at the bottom, working on, can I push out ever so slightly more? Can I dig into my feet ever so slightly more? So you're going to hold it and then stand up, okay, just like you went down. So everyone's going to do about five of those. Then we're going to think about when we have to drop underneath a bar, so we're going to add some plyometric activity in it, which is called a drop squat. So once he has to now add velocity and drop into it, can he actually drop into a strong, stable position? So, drop, squat. Good. You can go even a little faster, like, you stomp the ground again. <clears throat> so, a lot of times when you add speed, the stabilizing system goes to crap. And so people land, it's just like trying to jump, and now we're here, okay, we're falling forward. So, then you're gonna just practice five slow, five with speed, again, hold it, if you do do something wrong, correct it to tell your system what you want of it, and then stand up. 